Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. I've got an awesome top five for you guys today. I've been wanting to do a series like this on the channel for a while and I figured it was time that we got started. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right guys, so let's go ahead and just explain what we're doing here before we get started. Now this is a top five series I'm going to be publishing once or twice a week covering different top fives in Minecraft. So this week, uh, or this video, is going to be top five technical mods in Minecraft. And as always, these are very opinion based. So my opinion compared to your opinion could be different. You could like a completely different set of mods. This is just what I like. So if you feel like I should be putting another mod or you know something else in there, make sure you leave a comment with your top five down below and we'll go from there because that's the best thing about minecraft is that there's so many options that you know things could be completely different uh, as always jump into the challenge and question of the day will be at the end of the video so make sure you stick around for those and have a chance to get your name on the screen with the reply of the question of the day let's go ahead and get started with today's top five technical mods in minecraft coming in at number five is industrial craft 2 so i chose industrial craft 2 because it's one of the oldest mods in modding minecraft uh and for mod packs you know it's it's kind of a staple for mod packs almost but at the same time as the updates came in and people took over this mod things have just gotten a lot harder and that's not coming from a lazy crafter because i i love crafting in minecraft but it's it's gotten to the point to where it's grindy for ic2 you know you have to cut the wires and there's that whole process for cables and a lot of people sort of almost hate that now so there's a lot of people that don't even use ic2 and mod packs anymore so my choice for number five is industrial craft 2. coming in at number four is mine factory reloaded so mine factory reloaded is also a very old mod that's been passed on to different authors for keeping update now this mod is number four because of that uh there has not really been a, a major overhaul or update to mine factory reloaded as long as i can think they have maybe added a couple new features here and there but as far as i remember mine factory reloaded has pretty much been the same mod for quite a long time now and that's not to say that it's not useful but it really could use a facelift Coming in at number three, guys, is Mechanisms. Mechanisms is a great mod. Um, this mod recently sort of kind of took over the game. I mean, a lot of people were using this mod in mod packs, and it's a very fun mod to play with, to be honest with you. So one of the reasons why I chose this as number three was because of the models. A lot of mods or mod authors will simply texture a blocking called a machine, a macerator or something. Uh, the author for Mechanisms actually takes time to make models for his machines, and I think that is a big plus in separating yourself from the field. Uh, aesthetically pleasing, it's very good. Uh, I can only think of one other mod, or two other mods really, but the main one is Rotarycraft that does that. Uh, unfortunately, Rotarycraft like, kills servers. It's a server killer. <laughs> but... Um, Mechanisms is good because it blends with RF uh, and MJ, which is pretty much obsolete at this point. Uh, but it has a lot of great machines, and it's really fun to play with the digital miner as well. So coming in at number three is Mechanisms. Coming in at number two today is Ender IO. Ender IO is um, it's been around for quite a while now, uh, really being a predominant mod in 164 and 1710, but is a really an outstanding mod if you think about it one of my favorite features of this mod is the cable bundle feature this is what we're looking at right here this is actually three different cables combining any kind of fluid any kind of energy or well, not any kind of energy it's rf but uh and, you know fluid energy and awesome things like that and it's it's such a, a good mod really uh, because you can move items, you can move all those things, plus they have great machines that aren't technically really that hard to craft. Um, it stores RF pretty well, and it, it combines with other mods very well. It's very well integrated into mod packs. Um, and so that's why I chose Ender.io as number two. Um, it's a very good mod. If you, I, For some reason, if you've never played with Ender.io before, I, I highly suggest it. All right, guys, coming in at number one. That's right, you guessed it, Thermal Expansion. So I chose Thermal Expansion for number one for a lot of reasons. Thermal Expansion is actually quite an old mod, but it recently got a new overhaul with Thermal Expansion 3. 
Uh, now, if IC2 would have went this route, IC2 would have been probably number one, but Thermal Expansion is incredibly well done. There's great machines. You can pretty much craft anything you need. Um, great. I mean, the, the mod pretty much covers everything that you're going to need. Liquids, uh, machines, liquid storage, any kind of processing, energy storage. And then it's got add-ons such as simply jetpacks uh, and things like that that make it really good. There's a lot of other add-ons that make it compatible with Ender.io as well. So Ender.io and Thermal Expansion go really, really well together. Uh, so that's why I chose Thermal Expansion as number one. Not to mention, the mod itself, uh, you could pretty much put it in a vanilla Minecraft pack and do everything that you would need it to do and have fun playing with it at the same time. So it's really just, honestly, it's a lot of fun. So coming in at number one, my, I wouldn't say my favorite mod, but as a technical mod from a standpoint, on that standpoint, uh, Thermal Expansion is by far probably one of my favorite technical mods. All right, so before we end the video, let's go over a couple things. I want to do an honorable mention real fast for Buildcraft. Buildcraft has been up there with IC2 just as long, but hasn't been updated really in quite a long time. Now, I know the quarry got some new animations and there was some small updates, but Buildcraft really hasn't had a major overhaul as a mod. Uh, in quite a long time and that's why it didn't make the top five but it is just as good as a technical mod as anybody else's mod uh, it's just it, it's really outdated so that's why i chose um buildcraft as my my honorable mention mod that would be number six i guess uh anyways so gemander challenge for this video is going to be 419 likes guys let's see if we can beat that challenge i know the gemanders are awesome you got this now question of the day this is the big one what is your top five technical mods in Minecraft? And make sure you leave a comment and let me know down below. I love to see what your guys' reactions are. And for next episode of this top five series, what do you want to see? Uh, top five magic mods, top five texture packs, you know, skins. What in Minecraft would you want to see a top five of? Um, so yeah, I think we've got everything covered. Don't forget to check out all the links down in the description below. And, um, if you do leave a comment, reply to the question of the day, there is a chance you might get on screen with that. So there won't be one for this one because there wasn't a previous top five. Um, uh, but next episode there definitely will be. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And remember, a big old smile goes a long way. I hope you guys all have a good one. This is iJevin. Peace out.